So this is putting coilovers on your FC3S. These are some coilovers I got. Actually, I took them off my turbo car that's in there because I'm selling it and I'm keeping the coilovers. So first thing to note, I've already done the rears on this one. You can see they're in there. Pretty much you're going to take off these two uh, nuts. Um, on different cars you're going to get different nuts. I had a 12, a 13, and a 14 in different sizes. Uh, it's pretty straightforward for the back. You just take off these two and one underneath. I'll show you what the uh, one in the bottom looks like. So this is the rear shock and it's just uh, a 17 mil in the back here and that's just one nut that goes uh, bolt that goes right through and as you can see this is the stock suspension this is on the turbo car uh, and I'll show you what the uh, front looks like uh, in the front it's these four and then there's two underneath and they are uh, both 17s so this is what the fronts look like there's actually two holes you can see here and here that's uh, for the front suspension and then uh, I guess you can't really see but the four up top. So I already pulled off the front on the turbo car. Um, note that you really shouldn't let this hang the way I did. Um, it does wear out the little bushing at the bottom, uh, your tie rod end bushings and stuff. So you should really actually support this up. I'm just leaving it now because I'm quickly going to swap over the other stuff. Uh, also note that you want your nut to be on the inside so close to the caliper and your bolt head on the outside just because if you're using an impact it's a lot easier to get to the this side with an impact than it is to get here because you couldn't get past the caliper so it's a 17 in and a 17 on the other end uh, that's pretty easy to get to and then there's one also on the bottom there sorry it, my camera's a little off um, someone bored my camera and I uh, lost it somewhere in Montreal or California or something and so I'm using my iPad to take this video now, it might not look like the same car, but this is the FC I did the polyurethane bushings on in the front end. And like I had mentioned at the end of that video, um, your actual whole front end will dip a little bit lower. And because of that, I actually wasn't able to get my crappy jack underneath the car. So I actually had to drive it up on a uh, one inch board so I could actually clear the space underneath so I could jack up the front to do the suspension. So there's what it looks like with the wheel off. As you can see, I still have my four lug and NA calipers. Eventually I will do the swap on this and put uh, the T2 stuff. Um, things to note, as I said before, uh, oh, I don't know if I've said it before or if this will come later, but uh, note that the bolt goes in on the outside and the nut is on the inside between the caliper and the shock. You want it to always be like this or it's a pain in the ass to get uh, an impact on here. So that's the best way to do it and always put it back the same way or you'll be you'll have a pretty bad headache. Also always remember to take off this clip to remove your, uh, your brake lines. Um, also don't when you do all this make sure you don't twist your brake lines. You don't want twisted brake lines. Mine is kind of twisted. It's not that good. It's really bad. Um, and so that's about it. I'm going to take this all off and yeah. A little comparison between uh, your stock and your coilovers. Coilovers are a lot easier to work with. You don't have to worry about compression um, and compressing the spring to put them in. This is a lot easier and by far I like a lot better. And there you go. Fully adjustable uh, coilover suspension on uh, an FC3S, pretty straightforward. Um, one last thing to note is for future, um, always, I probably said this in all my other videos, but always make sure you know you lubricate your nuts and bolts uh, with anti seize just because you know if you need to swap stuff again. Nice thing about this car, I already did. Uh, I put T2 basic suspension on this and I lubricated everything, which made putting this uh, coilover stuff a lot easier. I didn't have to worry about stripping or breaking anything. I just Put, put, put my impact to it and everything came loose. And so that's it for now.